Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you two simple scripts that will save you some time. Attaching objects or detaching sub-objects is an important part of modeling process especially if you are importing a lot of assets into your scene, using some parts of them or combining them. Luckily, when you are working on a lot of objects, you can select all of them in the attach list window to attach them pretty fast. However, detach operation doesn't have that feature and when you want to separate an object to its pieces, this can be a time consuming process. To fix this problem, we can use two scripts and you can find download links in the description. First script I will show you is called elements to objects. I will begin with a simple box to demonstrate the purpose of the script. Let's say I want six different polygons out of this box. So I'm gonna need to detach all the faces one by one but if we use one of the scripts, it will be an automated process. Usually, I would do this. As you can see, it's not the fastest way. And if you are working with a complicated model, this can be a real waste of time. Let me attach them all together. Instead of separating polygons one by one, I will just split all the edges like this. And now every face is an element. And instead of detaching them, now I will just select the object and run elements to object and press detach. That's it. Now we have six different objects, six different planes, and as you can see, pivots are in the center, which is pretty useful. Now let's try this with a real life scenario. I will import a furniture model that I have downloaded before. Here you can see that this model is a single piece with different elements and materials. And let's say I would like to use just pillows and blankets. Instead of detaching them one by one, I will select the model and press detach. That's it. Now I can grab the object I want and delete the rest. As you can see, now I have all the objects separate, even the wooden parts. And now I can just use this or just press Ctrl I, select the rest and delete. I have everything I need and now I will show you the second script. The second script I am going to show you is doing the same thing with some additional useful features. It's called Detach Elements. I will use the same furniture one more time. Here, it's a single object, like before, and now I'm gonna run the script. As you can see, it's just a single detach button, with some additional features. I don't wanna use this, because it will keep the original objects in place, and it's a bit unnecessary for this kind of usage, because we don't want the original furniture, we just want the pieces of it, so I'm gonna uncheck this. If I just press detach, it will do the same thing, but as you can see, it didn't center all the pivots, which might be an issue for later. To fix that, first I will attach everything back together, and before detaching, this time I will select center pivot. Now you can see all the pivots are in center. And there's one more useful feature, but this time I'm gonna import a slightly modified version of the same furniture. This is the same furniture we used before and everything is attached together as a single piece. And this is a slightly modified version and it has different pieces attached together. 
and it's not a single object. So, if I just press detach, selecting all, it will separate every single element as a single object. But if I turn on group by source and click detach, this time it will detach every element but The script will group them by their sources after detaching process is done, which might be useful in certain cases. And alright, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video and learned something from it, please give a thumbs up. If you want to see time saving tips like this, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions or requests, please leave a comment and I will do my best to reply. Thank you for watching and have fun modeling.